Hey everybody, today I've got a great little scale riff for you in the key of G and it goes like this. <laughs> So, what is it? Uh, if I start from a pentatonic scale uh, in a G pentatonic, and then if I look at the G string and the B string, so I have these notes here, 3rd fret, 5th fret, 3rd fret, and the 6th fret in the G pentatonic. So, these notes, they sound great by themselves. Love it. Now, I'm not the fastest gun in the world, never claimed to be, uh, but I have a couple little tricks that help me when I'm trying to keep up with some of you young bucks out there. All right, and this is one of my little tricks that I found. Um, I was looking for something to help my fourth finger and I found this little pattern like this. Uh, a lot of you know that you can take a pentatonic scale and you can play this note at the sixth fret on the G string. Uh, that's We call that the flat five tone. Okay, so that and that and that's nice also because it gives me three notes on the string. So I play three, five, six, and then third fret on the B string, and then I go back around six, five, three, and you can just practice that for your fourth finger. Okay, you can also play uh, with your second finger and your third finger. Okay, and then I go on the B string and I do the same thing. Three, five, and six. And this note right here on the E, it's kind of problematic. It doesn't really fit in the pentatonic. Um, it doesn't really fit from any scale. It's just kind of a neighbor tone. If you wanted to argue that it's kind of from the Dorian scale, it is from the Dorian mode. Uh, but we're not really playing the riff with any kind of a Dorian kind of a feel. Just kind of playing it more in a pattern or in a, in a pentatonic kind of thing. And, you know, if it's just fast enough, you just kind of push it into the thing and, and it, it sounds pretty cool. All right, so I can play the riff like this. The other thing I can do that I am doing when I get up to here, I just double up on this five six five uh, six five six five. I am a big fan of that. I've done that for many years. I I refer to that as a stutter step. If you're going to play this, and then if you stutter it at the top, that's the impression that I get from it. So you can do that. You can play without the stutter and with the stutter. As you can see, it's very versatile. You can get a lot of variety within the pattern. And then you can play it around in different positions. So there you go. Uh, enjoy. If you want to learn more about it, then just get a hold of me and we'll go from there. Have a great day, everybody. See you later. Bye-bye.